Perhaps you've heard of the 100th monkey experiment. Over a span of 30 years, scientists were researching a species of monkey called Makaka fuscata on an island in Japan. They were providing the monkeys with sweet potatoes by dropping them in the sand. The monkeys liked sweet potatoes, but they didn't like the sand and dirt so much. A few monkey children figured out that they could wash their sweet potatoes, and some of them taught the technique to their parents. Only a few of the adult monkeys did this though. This went on for some time, until one day, the monkeys who actually knew the technique hit critical mass. And bingo! The technique started spreading faster than it did before. Monkeys started learning it really easily across all of the Japanese islands nearby as well as on the mainland. They knew that there had to be something that wasn't yet understood about how a species is connected to itself. So what did we do? We tried it on humans. Our research team made a picture out of human faces. About a hundred faces hidden within a single picture, but at first glance, you could only see about six or seven. They did several surveys with a few hundred people in Australia and said, all right, find the faces. Most people could only pick out six, seven, eight, nine or so, not many more. After that, the research team went to Britain and aired the picture on a closed cable BBC special that was shown only in England. They showed where all of the faces were, every last one. Half of the research team, which stayed in Australia, did the experiment again with new subjects. And lo and behold, people were just naturally able to see more faces. After this experiment, they knew that something definitely connects us all and the field of noetics is learning more about it daily, its mass consciousness.